Hello and welcome. This tutorial shows you how to use the Elcomsoft system recovery or well more like a demonstration and a tutorial so it's like two in one. So the first thing to do is uh, make the bootable uh, USB uh, stick. So that's what we're gonna do in here. So I'm gonna plank out, not gonna show you that. And we can create it or you can save the ISO image and then you can just uh, put it onto the USB stick with any other program but I prefer this option it's a lot easier so we go next and make sure this is uh, selected I don't even know why you should be able to deselect because if you deselect this then uh, as you can see you can select your hard drives and you don't want to do that so make sure this option is enabled because if you can install it on your hard drive then all the data is gonna be gone so uh, right this is the USB uh, drive I have just one gigabyte and we just click format and let's do it it shouldn't take too long it just should take maybe like I don't know a few seconds but uh, I'm gonna show you the whole process and basically what this tool does is uh, it can um, reset Windows passwords it can give um, yes of course it can give admin uh, privileges to like uh, any user account it can rip the database it can uh, save the password hash for example, if you have personal files on the computer, then changing the password will make those files permanently unavailable. Except that if you know the original password, then you can reset it back and that's how it works. But um, now it's done and I'm going to show you on the laptop how this entire process works. So I'll see you in a second. And welcome back. So once you have this USB stick, this is where I put the system on, the Elcomsoft tools. So it's time to boot from this. This part I can't really help you with because on every computer and laptop and device uh, it's different options but on this one before you uh, boot it up we plug it in and we boot up and keep hitting F12 key which is, uh, I can't even see where is it, uh, where is it, it's this one I believe. Yes and now you just let it load and I will show you in a zoomed up view. I'm going to be using that so you won't be seeing my hands in the way. So, And this is the Elcomsoft tools uh, loading. As you can see they've made their own uh, loading which is pretty cool actually. The circle right in there. Well, I stuck my finger in there. I will show you screen recorder but unfortunately it's there is no way to output this laptop onto a monitor so but I hope you can see it so uh, we have to agree the terms you can select the language from here and this runs from the USB now you don't need to actually do anything in here so I guess we can go next from here and uh, first thing we're gonna change the password so uh, we're gonna go into SAM database I believe so let's go next SAM database is basically a Windows database where all the user stuff and everything is everything is held and now here if you want to be really stealthy for example if you want to check somebody's system without actually leaving any traces so obviously you don't know the password so you can't reset the password so what you do is you pack up the SAM this holds all the register and everything so you pack it up first I'm not gonna do it here but uh, you can pack it up you can go next and once you're done with everything you can restore the same files so the computer will be exactly in the same state as it was before but let's change the local user account so let's go next from here uh, I'm not sure what this is please select Windows uh, Directory I guess this, this is the correct one I don't know why it's an E drive but um, this short and simple passwords may take a few minutes um, nope I don't want to do that uh, order selection let's go next from here uh, one password found so let's see what this is and as you can see it shows the password right here so um, I don't even know why it showed it. I didn't even have to uh, recover it. Uh, it shouldn't always show it. For example, if you have encrypted files, uh, the EFS encrypted file system on the Windows, then you can't just change the password because if you change the password, then uh, you can't access the encrypted files. The encrypted files will be encrypted with your password in here which means you can never access them with a changed password so if you can't recover the password like this then then it's more difficult than that so and we can also see password hashes in here the NTLM hashes so and we go next from here and we can change the password to anything we want I'm going to just whoops 
made a mistake let's put aliens in here uh, we can uh, put some of the options in here as you can see password never expires you can uh, expire password at some point if you want account disabled account is locked out I'm not sure why some of them are um, grayed out but you can also uh, give administrator account privileges as you can see in here and basically all we do is just uh, change the password I changed it to aliens and all we do is click apply we want to back up the SAM file recommended uh, okay I'll back it up I'll back it up I'm going to back it up just in case something goes wrong so going to back it up I know what the heck this is uh, that's probably some temporary thing but we are going to put it in here we are going to call it Sam whatever uh, I'll save it in there uh, yes we want to proceed it's expressively modified reboot the system don't forget to reboot blah 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 and no I don't want to reboot the system so um, and this is how actually yes I'm going to um, close this and now the window should boot normally and now the windows is booting normally so uh, the change password should work let's try it out and we are here so let's click this and put in aliens so uh, I'm showing you that the password really is what I changed it to see and just hit enter and it should work fine so let's see it says welcome I don't know why it's taking so long that's just a test laptop I haven't really done much to it so and here we are it worked perfectly I even uh, got to keep my desktop and everything so and now I'm going to show you how to dump the hash for the password in case you want to um, crack the password if it doesn't show up in there and if you have encrypted file system so that's that's a different story I don't have an encrypted file system but uh, it's necessary to do that and then you can uh, crack the password with Elcomsoft distributed uh, password recovery so I'm going to restart this and show you the different options and we are back in the Elcomsoft tools so what we want to do is go back into the SAM database there's also miscellaneous which you can um, check out this password hints you can view password hints reset the syskey security to defaults and run a command prompt if you need it but we are going back we are going back to the SAM database and we are going next from here and what we want to do is restore the SAM file so I'm going to restore my password and everything like it was so we are going to select it where did I save it it was on the USB it comes off the USB SAM old open and it automatically selects where the default one is and all we do is um, no I don't want to store from archive okay never mind go next replace the register with the original one yes and it's restored so that's it it's done uh, close this one whoops uh, no I don't want to restart nope I don't want to restart uh, whoops <laughs> okay let's go back so what we want to do is dump password hashes that's what we want to do uh, this is like I said if your windows is uh, encrypted not your windows but whatever you're accessing it's encrypted so we go next from here uh, please select some source file okay it's automatic it should select it automatically unless you have more than one windows installation so go next and we are going to dump it onto the USB stick so we're not touching the laptop itself uh, hashes yes that's it default part open it notepad yes I do want to open it and these are the hashes in here as you can see you have administrator I don't know why it has so many of them but um, well anyway this file is uh, on the USB stick now and we can also dump the domain cached uh, credentials dump and save domain uh, cache credentials to text file I'll dump it anyway I'm not even entirely sure what that is but I'm gonna do it anyway yep there's nothing in there this this is uh, when you have online account I believe like for example in Windows 10 you can use an uh, online account with your email or something so you can do that kind of stuff so uh, this is why I don't recommend using online accounts because if someone does that to your machine then they can grab your online account hashes and passwords and stuff like this so it's it's not recommended but um, you can also uh, use the SAM editor I haven't even tried that so yes automatically 
and as you can see you can do some stuff in here you can edit some of the stuff but uh, that's that's nothing important really so basically what we want to do now is just get out of here and I'm going to show you what to do with that password hash so let's close this and I will see you in a few seconds so we are back on the other PC and this is the USB stick where I changed the save the hashes on so we are going to copy this onto my desktop in here so let's copy it in here and we have the hashes in here so we don't uh, need this anymore also I want to mention that the reason why it showed the password is uh, because the sys key the system key and this is meant to encrypt like the password hashes so basically you can't do what I just did and this is what this tool can do it can resist, uh, reset the system key and uh, that's what it was or crack it or anything like this so all this is also supported but let's get back to the hashes so we are going in here and uh, now we need Elconsoft uh, distributed password discovery which I have it right here and in order to add these hashes you don't really need to do anything with it all you do is click add you're already on the desktop from here you want to select uh, this one and as you can see the extension list is here so what we need to do with this is rename the extension if you don't see the extension you need to enable it on your windows so we are going to name it to ps tump Yes, uh, whoops, not PS. Why, why am I naming it PS? P W dump. It's a password dump. Uh, in Windows, you need to enable it from your folder op options or somewhere. Um, so from here, you need to go into View. Uh, it depends if you have the same kind of configuration and go into uh, Change Folder and Search Options, View, and from here. Uh, hide extensions for known file types this is default is enabled so you need to disable that and apply that and then you can see the extensions and once you rename that then we go in here add we are going to select this and as you can see it's right here we are going to select this one okay and here is our password I have already showed how to use telecoms of the distributed password recovery so check the other video in the description and from here we are going to add what we want to do is um, depending on the attack but uh, I'm going to just brute force it I'm going to just show you how it's uh, going to take let's put it something like this 8 to 9 characters it'll do let's put mixed alpha uh, that should do it and also we need this running this is on multiple computers you can have more than one computer cracking it but this is just a demonstration so we start it from here from here we can choose the processors what you have in here so it's probably gonna lag a little bit but that's okay so going to disable that and just let it work and show you the speed of this thing and well, the speed is in here so that's a lot I'd say I just paused it for a second just uh, while it was doing its stuff and I just paused it from here too so let's pause it in here but it's about uh, 8 billion passwords per second and as you can see with this kind of configuration it will take roughly about six to seven weeks maximum to crack this on a single computer so here you have it if your password is in this range and it contains this kind of characters then this this is how long it will take so secure yourself with a better password but uh, this is how you crack the passwords in case you need it so i'm going to stop it from here because i no longer need it yes stop it and delete it uh, close this and close this and I would also uh, like to mention I was uh, linked to this article and This shows you that you can actually do exactly what I uh, said you can do I didn't even read this before that but um, You can basically break into online accounts uh, by just accessing the computer with this tool uh, I will link it in the description so you can read through that but this tells you exactly uh, what I told you that if you link your online account to your uh, offline PC then you can extract the uh, password hashes to it and crack it offline with the exact same method I just demonstrated to you but um, read through this uh, article it might give you better ideas about this how it works and everything well so much of the system recovery and I'd say it's a really good tool because sometimes you just forget your own password and need to reset it or something like this but uh, anyway if you have any questions leave them in the comments i'll try to answer them and i will see ya next time